What's going on, guys? We're back with this again to admit that... So, we were kind of wrong on the whole... The Stormtroopers were uh, already dead. They were reanimated corpses by the Night Sisters. However, I do want to call out that we weren't entirely wrong. And I want to kind of explain why I think that is. So, as I had mentioned before, the Night Sisters... They're, they're proficient in their magic and bringing the dead back to life. And we saw that. We saw them do that with the Stormtroopers. And the Stormtroopers kept getting up and coming back. Now, obviously you don't want that to be the case for a video game because you're going to frustrate the hell out of your, your players. But in Fallen Order, I don't remember the corpses getting back up. That would be more like a thing like in Halo where you kill the Flood and they get back up and you kill them and they get back up again. Whereas in episode 8 of Ahsoka, we saw them get back up after being cut down over and over again. Now granted, we didn't see them delimbed or anything, because Disney's really against that. And even the one that we did see, with the head being taken off of the Death Trooper, that cut happened behind the pillar conveniently, and then we saw the head roll out. But we do know that they were, they were undead. Now what's even weirder here is it doesn't seem like the Stormtrooper volunteers were already dead. They weren't reanimated. But the Death Troopers that were waiting at the top of the tower for Ezra and Sabine, they already were. We didn't see them get reanimated because... By the time they got up there, the Stormtroopers had already been brought back. So they were already up there waiting. And the one that was, you know, trying to strangle Sabine was already... Aah! Like, you know, he was already a, a reanimated corpse. So, I still think it might be possible that some of them were already reanimated. Now, we didn't get to hear... Morgan Elsbeth's speech to the volunteers. But I'm wondering if they were if if she told them that, you know, her way of saying they were protected by the Night Sister magic. They weren't really protected by it, but they were resurrected by it. But by that point, since you're resurrected as a corpse, you're not resurrected as you. So And that takes a whole other a whole other twist on uh, the soul and the, the body and the mind and things that Star Wars isn't really going to touch on. At least I don't think they would. So it kind of it kind of comes into place that maybe it was misleading, and then it's like you're you know you're fighting for Thrawn, and you'll be able to be brought back with the Night Sister magic, and then she just didn't be like, but you'll be a zombie. You won't really be you. You won't come back to life and have a normal life. You won't, you know, stop the Jedi and then get back on the ship and go home and get to have a normal life again. You're, you're going to be fucked up. The reason that I think we were in the right direction from the very beginning is because we saw the Stormtroopers had the red robes wrapped around them and under their armor like the Dathomir Witches. So I'm wondering if, if they weren't actually corpses yet, if they weren't actually undead, then what that would have meant is that the witches had to have some kind of connection to these troopers. Because, obviously, the witches bringing back the undead on Dathomir, they were from these, like, corpse pods. And they were also the corpses of other dead witches. So they already had a connection to the black magic and to the witches as a whole. So perhaps they had to have those cloths, whether those cloths were, you know, kind of tainted with the witches' magic, or it had to have been something to give them a connection to the Imperial Stormtroopers. Unless their magic just allows them to bring back any dead anywhere at any time. That would just be a little more far-fetched so I think it makes more sense that they had to have some kind of connection to the bodies of 
those they are resurrecting. So I think we were right, although just not entirely. We, we were wrong on the time frame. They weren't all dead yet, but our theories that made us assume, that made us think that they were already dead is what I believe led to them being able to be resurrected and be undead to begin with. Will we get to see that in future media? Probably, because now there's... There's gonna be a lot of Night Sister Witches on uh, Dathomir. So I think we're bringing the Night Witches back into the fold, uh, which is cool. It's cool for potential future stories, um, but what, uh, what are we gonna get out of it? I just, I don't know. I mentioned in the previous video that I think the, uh, the coffins, the cargo from the catacombs was not actually dead uh, corpses of Imperials or witches, but I think they were actually witches that were all in, like, stasis. They were all asleep because Thrawn mentioned, or Ezra mentioned Thrawn waking up the witches. Uh, so the deal was probably to get them all off that planet, get them to another galaxy, get them away from whatever they're running from, and Dathomir's that planet. And they got a lot of witches to wake up. So it's going to be really cool to see what we can get out of uh Dathomir witch stuff. Mother Talzin was a very interesting character, I thought. And it was cool to get to see her blade as well. But I don't know. I feel like we need to we need to know more about these particular witches. But they just woke up from a very, presumably, long nap. So I feel like we'll see more of them in the future. Whether or not they'll tie into whatever Balin is after. And whether they'll help... Balin, whether they'll help whatever being is calling to him or whether they'll help stop him is a whole other a whole other case. But seeing that they do have the ability to resurrect the dead means that they may may end up using that ability a lot more in future media than what we've just seen. So I when I saw them reanimated, to be honest, I was just like oh right, I was I was kinda right. Yeah. I wasn't completely wrong. It didn't look like a complete idiot on the internet. Yet, I mean, you know, we, we kind of do anyways, but I'm okay with looking like an idiot doing things on the internet. But I don't necessarily... Like, I'm okay with being wrong, but I don't like... I don't like using using my brain and doing all that work to come up with that shit to just be wrong. It's a bit different. Like it makes me it makes me feel dumb to do all that thinking and then be like, "Oh, it's completely not the case." And and we'll see. This this statement might age very poorly by the time we figure out what Balin's true goal is. So, who knows? But I just wanted to come out and kind of, you know, call myself out for being a little bit wrong, but you know, congratulate myself for being a little bit right, you know. You got, you got to take the wins as they come. So if it's half a win, half a W is a V, V stands for victory.